Good evening, folks. Uh, it's your boy, the G Flash, and I'm joined with my three guests tonight underneath the video. Uh, Cal Oli, Tatiana Master One, and Ken Dog the Yoshi Me. Hello, everyone. What's up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it feels great to actually see the three of you underneath the video now and the joint activity. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Of course, yes. Yeah, I know. All right, so tonight we have the banner for the I think the young heroes, the the kid, the kid uh, heroes this time. Now, uh, there are there's been speculation of who it might be though, but honestly, I'm going in completely blind. So, uh, yeah, you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, three, two. Uh, All right, three, two, one, play. All right, come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh what? Sorry. Okay, here we go. For some reason it started like six seconds in. Okay. Young and ambitious. Special oh, here. Yeah, that's not a movie. Okay. I think we're okay. Whoa, baby Hector! Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, let's... he's axe armor once again. <laughs> Man, Hector loves an axe. Oh, nice. Oh, he's facing off against each tree. Wow. Well, he has his own special. Wow. Okay. Oh, Ellie Wood. Ooh. He's Sword Cavalier. Okay. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> Inborn Idealism. Okay, he has his own unique C skill. That's pretty cool. Okay, then. Okay, he's got DR. Yeah. All right, who's the four star? Oh, Rebecca! All right. Finally, this girl gets some love. She actually has a full screen. Oh my gosh, it's real. All right. Oh, she's got a preferred weapon. Yes. Very good. Attack speed finish three. Really good father for a four star, what I just saw. Wait, oh, wait, who's this? Okay. Lynn and... It's Mark. It's Mark. Mark? What? Yeah, yes. you know... Have you ever played FP7? No. Okay, um... Mark is kind of like... Well, I'll, I'll tell you once the demonstrator... Wait, hang on. I think oh, it's Mark. Wait. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, he does it. He just does it, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Wow. It's only Lynn that talks. <laughs> wait, so Mark doesn't talk? No, he never talks in FP7. Oh, okay. He was like, yep. I haven't played FP7, but what I know is he. Also, I thought it, I honestly yeah, thought it was giving. Yeah, there's only one VA for this one. Wow. Okay. That's all. Until we win. That's all. <laughs> oh, Lucius. Lucius is the TT unit. Yeah, Kid oh, Lucius. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. All right, so uh, now let's okay. go over. All right, let's go over everyone. Okay, so first of all, we got uh, young Hector right here, and he's an axe armor. I mean, what else does Hector wield? He loves an axe. He's an axe guy. He's always armored. Yep, he's always armored. Okay, so he's got a Valiant War axe, so it's got a minus one special trigger. 
at start of combat if he's uh, above 25 percent inflict attack and defense minus six on the foe during combat inflict guard on the foe per attack reduce damage from attacks during combat by 30 percent excluding aoe effect also if the unit is within three space of ally and fix inflicts penalty on the foe's attack during combat equal 12 minus foe's max special cooldown down value uh times two minimum four full if foe does not have a special a uh, skill penalty four okay so basically it's just it's just hector he in combat debuff he deals guard he has damage reduction and then he doubles down on the uh foes like in comp uh, like foes attack debuff based on if he's within three spaces of an ally and based on the special cooldown that uh the the foe has basically so yeah that's pretty good i'll say yep now let's take a look at his uh exclusive special right here armored beacon boost special damage by 40 percent of units defense oh wow that already is good if foe's range equals two and units uh and unit or foe special is ready or triggered before or during combat reduce as his damage from foe's next attack by 40 percent once per combat excluding aoe effects okay so it's a it's a bonfire 2.5 i will say uh so you deal damage based on your defense and then if uh, the foe is a range unit uh and if hector or the uh foe special is ready then he uh, then hector gets to reduce damage from the foe's next attack by 40 percent so yeah, yeah so yeah it's another dr right there so that's pretty solid i will say and then he's got Ostia's heart so that's his uh prefer ace law skill so immediately has distant counter because all the hectors want distant counter and that if foe initiates combat or foe's HP 75%, inflict attack defense minus 8 on the foe during combat. Also, when unit deals damage, heal 7 HP to unit. Okay. So Hector is able to self sustain himself and stay healthy for the most part. Yeah. Wow. And then he's got Vengeful Fighter 4, which is a lot better than Vengeful Fighter 3. And we just saw that on the, um, Gilliam. Gilliam. Yeah, we just saw on him. And you know, you guys know how good that skill is, so. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Why did it jump to E-Tree right here? Okay, anyway, he's got DR far save. I mean, he's a far save unit, so he's definitely going to be a good far save. I'll say that. Yeah. All right, next up we got is Young Elliewood. And Young Elliewood is a Sword Cavalier. And this is what he's got. He's got Fiery War Sword. Minus one special trigger. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants... Oh, whoops. Grants all stats plus X to unit during combat. X equal number of bonus effects active on unit. Excluding stat bonuses. Uh, times three plus five. Maximum 17. Uh... Let's, oh, and then he gets full on no follow up, and then uh, forty percent first attack dr. Okay, so Ellie was basically a stat ball pretty much, as long as you have bonus effects on him. So that's good. Uh, and then he's got Luna Speed Defense Clash Four. So here's the second version of the Clash skills. So that will make Ellie one more faster and more bulkier on the melee side. Then he's got the near trace skill, which I mean, he's a cavalier. And since he's got no follow up in his sword already, it's perfect that he runs a near trace skill. And then he's got inborn idealism. Okay, so what is this? At start of turn, if a dragon or beast allies deploy, grants uh, attack speed and defense plus six, bonus doubler, and no panic to unit and ally with the highest attack. Okay, so this is just like um, Legendary Ellie was Vision of Arcadia, but this time, instead of bonus doubler in his weapon, this is bonus doubler in his sea slot skill. And also, you gain uh, attack speed, defense plus six to Ellie, bon 
and, and your ally remember your allies with the highest attack you know gets attack speed and defense plus six bonus double and no panic so it's kind of just like vision of arcadia mixed with his 90 degree Durandal, like his legendary version is though uh, but all in a C skill, which I mean, this is what we expect out of an Ellie Wood. Ellie Wood always wants to have a dragon or a beast ally with them because he believes in a utopia, not a dystopia. He wants humans and dragons to live in peace and work together. So, of course, that's why he has that. Yeah, yep. So, so, yeah, I think Ellie was a really good uh, Sword Cavalier. I mean, we got a lot of competition, but I think he stands out pretty good right here because of his kit right here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, now, remember, he's got the buff, okay? So, he's if we subtract the buff, which is plus six... So that's 61, uh, 46, and then 31, yeah. and then 20 res. Yeah, that sounds about right, honestly. Yep, exactly. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, anyway, um, and then, uh, Tati Fat, can you go to, uh, Rebecca? Just, like, if, if I find you Rebecca, since this one might will be quick. You wanna do Rebecca? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Alright, alright. There you go. Uh let's get to her okay. kit right here. Yep, here it is. Alright, let me just wait for it. Alright. <clears throat> alright, expect it's gonna speed, so we already got four more this counter for you guys that struggle for four minutes. You're welcome. Alright, so I right, special cooldown minus one, if I get speech from flying. I start a turn. If you use within three spaces and use cooldown at its maximum value, grants a for cooldown and minus one to the unit. If you use it within three spaces of an ally, gets all gets plus five to all stats and reduces damage flow from by X or break more X or I. If in the combat, the breach will tavern flow or fly flow with range equal range two. X equals 60, otherwise 30. And also, if you use special regular, it's very able. Or use special trigger before, or, huh, or during time, plus seven true damage uh, during combat, except when you deal special for area effects special. It's okay. Well, that's a very good weapon. Yeah, that's that is. I, I am feeling Cosinkami's being finished too. Because the five what is is seven you got seven damage in combat and with the finish kill with the five damage in combat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it combos good with the finish skill. Also also this is a really good this is the third bow uh, we got in like in the last five months. Uh-huh. For free to play you Yeah. 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 That's it now. Yeah. Rebecca. Yeah, this is where the base Rebecca should have been. Well, I mean, she has the um arcane bow that she can make good use of now. Let's just hope she gets a better artwork first. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. It was pretty early back then, so I uh -huh. why. Yep. But this is a really good fodder for a demo because we got two of the best skills in the game, honestly, as demo skills, which, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to say more. Yep. Yeah, just look at this. Oh, dude. We got well, some, of the best, some of the best right here. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Okay, so now let's uh, go to the the star of this banner, which is Young Lin and Mark. Now, Mark is the leading unit, which thank God, because finally Lin's not a leading unit this time around. Well, she already has one. <laughs> now, okay, so you guys said that this Mark kid doesn't talk at all? 
Yes. Yes. So he's a silent protagonist, or not a silent character. Yeah. Yeah. So who is Mark, by the way? Oh boy. So who? Yeah, who's Mark? Where am I gonna turn this in? <laughs> uh, Mark? I don't even know. I feel like this is like... <laughs> I have a play every seven, so bear with me, but I think it's like... Oh, yeah. A self-insert? But I don't really know. So... That's okay. Uh... Alright, yeah, let's get to see Mark. Can you get the Mark skateboard? Uh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Okay, so um, he's got total war tone. So it's uh, minus one special trigger at start of a turn. Inflicts all stats minus five sabotage and stall on closest foes within five spaces of unit and foes within two spaces. Uh, and foes within two spaces of those foes through their next action. Then at start of combat, if unit's HP is above 25%, Inflict all stats minus five on the foe during combat, and unit makes a guaranteed follow up attack. Also, if a stat penalty is active on any foe within two spaces of target, neutralizes effect that uh, inflict guard. Okay, so no guard at the end. So sabotage is a status now. Inflict penalty on units all stats during combat equal highest penalty on each stat between unit and allies within two spaces of unit through its next action. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So we have a new way of uh, determining sabotages now. So that's interesting. Uh, yeah, he's got he, he's got remote mirror iceberg sabotage AR three. Okay, so we have tier four versions of the sabotage skills now. So at start of turn, if any foe's res is less than units res, and that foe is adjacent to another foe. Inflict attack and res minus six on that foe through its next action. Then at start of combat, if unit's res is greater than foe's res, inflict attack res minus X on the foe during combat. X equal three plus highest penalty on each stab between target and foes within two spaces of target. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so... As long as you debuff some foe or the, the adjacent foe with that minus six uh, attack and res debuff, then basically the sabotage skill doubles down on that, like a penalty doubler in a way, double downs on that in the combat debuff too. So not only are you going to have the visible debuff on them, but you're going to have the in combat debuff at, applied as well. Okay. The sabotage skills have officially been good. Yeah. Okay, we just need the others now. Mm-hmm. Um, start. Yep. Cool. This is okay. good. And then he's got Canto Control. What's good? Stop the the, the Cantors. <laughs> yeah. Well, the difference is just imagine what No Four Off Four would be like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's a war cry. No. Uh huh. Uh. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh... All right. So that's uh. Yep. So that's a uh, mark right here. Now we actually know his stats are right here. So yeah. this is his yeah, stats. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, 40 HP, 58 attack, 27 speed, 20 defense, and 46 resistance. Which is high because he needs that res to do the uh to do his shenanigans. Also, I, yep. we have his dual skill. Inflicts isolation guard and special cooldown gun plus two on foes with it. Three rows or three column center around him. Oh wow. So he shuts down dancers, gives put guard on them, and like increases their special cooldown by two. Well, I mean like resets it in a way. So yeah, uh, don't mess with this kid and his, uh, his pal Lin, because, uh, yeah, they're gonna yeah. throw everything at you. What are we? Yep. So, best thing to take him down is Dynamic Units. Mm -hmm. And no follow-up. Take him out. Out, like, turn one. 
Uh, yup. And no follow up. Uh, yup, exactly. Because he's slow. Uh huh. Well, turn one if you're playing against. If you're doing some of the duels. But, yeah. Yeah, just get a melee unit. You'll be able to get that thing done easy. Yeah. Alright, and so then. Uh huh. Okay, and then our TT unit is gonna be young Lucius. That's right, Lucius Malfoy has turned into a kid apparently. So he's a uh, ah, whoops. Uh, go uh right here. Okay, so he's gonna be a infantry staff unit. Yeah, that's right. We're getting another uh, we're getting another staff unit from Tempest Trials. That hopefully has a preferred staff, by the way. Because everybody on the okay. banner has a preferred weapon. So, I oh, hope Lucius will have a preferred staff. Which, I think he will. Because all the child units all have preferred oh, weapons. Man. Yeah, so, of course, he's going to have a preferred staff. So, I can't wait to see what it does, though. Uh, no way imagine. But, you know, we have to find out, like... Mm-hmm. Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, and we'll probably know that in like a day or two, see what kind of staff he has though. Um and then this uh this banner comes out on the seventh, which funnily enough is supposed to be uh the day that the Mario movie was originally supposed to come out, but then they pushed it like to tomorrow. Because I guess people just can't resist the hype now, so... Uh, well, I got my tickets tomorrow, and I'm seeing an opening day, so I can't wait for that. Also, uh, I totally forgot that the Engage DLC Wave 4 was tonight. Like, I completely yeah, forgot yeah. about that. I had so yeah. much going on recently that... I, that thing just slipped through my mind, so I need to, I need to start playing that tonight. And uh, see how the story's gonna go because we're yeah. we're in for a tree, I bet. The yeah. day of the uh, you can obey engage now, it's available. Okay, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that once uh when we're off the, the video, yeah. Okay. And that's it. That's our reaction to the young FE7 banner. Uh and th this is filled with some pretty awesome units, I will say. And each of them are unique in their own way. And if you've been uh, saving your orbs trying to see what kind of kid banner you, they're going to have. Well, I got to say, I bet for FE7 fan, this will not disappoint you. And uh, yeah, especially if you're a Rebecca fan who's been traumatized by that alien looking face with a lot of makeup. That's right. This, the original Rebecca looks more like a alien with makeup than the Anya Taylor-Joy who's voicing Peach. And this is not a dig on Anya Taylor-Joy. I really like her. I think she's an awesome person. I've seen interviews of her just being so sweet and kind. It's clear she respects the fans. I really like her. She's been so in so much stuff that I love, so I really like her. This is not a dig on her, by the way. I'm just saying, Rebecca, please, I ask, Give this girl a resplendent now, please. You got the younger kid version of her now. So, yeah, please just give her the resplendent. Make it similar to the artwork you have right here. And, uh, yeah, make her just like what everybody wants. A cutie pie. Well, that's what Tacho calls her, though. A cutie pie from FE7. Then people will really want to build her up with an arcane bow. Yeah, but... What would they even go for? What would they... They can put the fairy outfit on her. I mean, I think Rebecca's the kind of person who doesn't mind if she have, like, a Leos Leosolfheimer... I think she fits in the Leosolfheimer outfit better. Rather than the Dolkolfheimer. Yeah, so. I'd be surprised if they went for anything else. <laughs> I mean, she's a hunter. And she's more, like, in nature. And I think fairies are more in nature. So... Yeah, that's kind of what I think. Hell, I mean, Pala was just in the the fairy outfit, and she's pretty, like, connected to nature in a way. She's always out in the skies and stuff, so that fairy outfit worked really well. And let's not forget Est. Est was like that as well. So, 
Oh yeah, where's our fairy? Where's our fairy Catria, by the way? Where's our fairy resplendent Catria? Give her out so that the sister trio sister will be fairy trio white wings. Yep. But I mean, now that Aversa is about to become a fairy as well, this opens the door for the Grail units to get their resplendent. I please. Well, isn't that like, huh? Isn't that like alternatives, like maybe not Hulks, but the ones was out. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the HBs. Yeah, GHBs. Please, for the love of God, fix freaking Loy's artwork. That guy looks like he's smoked a lot of crack or meth or heroin or whatever drug he has. And uh, he he looks like a lot of pain. It feels like he just like injected himself with a syringe shot. And uh, yeah, he's high on drugs. So please uh, fix that guy's artwork. Oh, no. Give him like a, I think give him a hell attire. If you don't want to go hell, then be like Jafar. Go with the, the what? that book five theme steampunk outfit on him because i think lloyd will look pretty sick on that so... yeah <laughs> yeah and then people will want to build him up with the arcane sword because phoenix master once said he really liked lloyd but his artwork is so bad that he can't he doesn't want to build him up <laughs> oh i feel bad for him to go. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tati. Since you're an Echoes fan, I want my boy Burkud to get a resplendent now. Oh boy. <laughs> Imagine Burkud in the Book Five outfit or the Hell outfit. Oh, oh, that would be absolute gold. What about Fernando? Fernando? Well, that's gonna take years for him to get one. Oh god. I guess you're right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's some SFE stuff in there, like Matilda and Clive. Mm hmm. Yeah, Matilda and Clive. Does, well, Clive, yeah, he deserves it. And then Matilda, yeah, as well. Well, there's a lot that needs to be done about them. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right, anyway, so yeah, that's our reaction. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the banner. And then if you like what I do, like, share, and subscribe. If you want to see me do more of these videos, uh, then uh, yeah, hit the like button and subscribe. And then I will post more of these videos. And I will see you all in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. And it's your boy, the G-Flash, signing out. Peace. Bye. Bye.